Hello everyone and welcome back to session number 4 of business analysis. So today uh, we will be discussing about a very important topic uh, that you hear uh, a lot in capital markets be it the startup zone or be it the listed zone or be it uh, a zone of investment banking where uh, investment bankers are willing to raise capital for a company. everywhere across all three major domains of venture capital investment banking and equity research this term is used left right center that is a company should have a large target addressable market that is also called as tam or in listed space the similar word is rephrased as a company should have long runway of growth or a company should have large opportunity sizes so it's very important to you know understand what is opportunity size and why people are so focused on whether a business has a large opportunity size or not so we will take this particular topic into two parts this will be part 1 because it's a bit lengthy topic so we'll divide it into part part 1 and part 2 so in part 1 today we'll be talking about few of the logics that attract people to this concept of big opportunity size and in part 2 we will be talk we will further talk about few more logics and few case studies from indian listed market to see the impact of what happens to stock prices when a company's opportunity size reduces or when a co- company's opportunity size expands so that you can also relate that it's true that market rewards company with large opportunity size now a caveat before we begin this topic just having a large opportunity size does not matter you might create a product which you believe has you know 2 lakh crore market size but it requires decades of focus decades of execution team building innovation building distribution channel consistent marketing spends to actually capture that market share and again building a moat around your business because no one stops you know a competitor from coming up with the same product and and capture the same opportunity size that is available in front of your company so there are tons of things that need to go right for company to actually have an advantage of a big opportunity size but you need to start somewhere right first point is you need to have a big opportunity size otherwise ye baki ki cheeze bhi kaam matter karegi right like r and d marketing product innovation etc so let's go uh, and discuss the main topic and a very important thing is a uh, astronomical valuation multiples basically are assigned uh, to such companies which can have this characteristic you know uh, imagine a company which is currently smaller in size with a top line of you know 50 crore or 100 crore but it is being run by great management imagine a management who has worked as a, a ceo of a leading listed company now has come up with his own idea for that particular space and the company has zero corporate governance issue the company has had great you know track record in terms of shareholder friendliness and it has a huge opportunity size in front of them so this combination of you know a company being small in size currently run by great management with no corporate governance issue plus huge opportunity size it's a deadly cocktail that takes a company's price to owning ab ebitda ev by sales multiple to another trajectory all together hence this combination is again rewarded by market participants by giving such companies very high valuation that's one of the biggest reasons you know the promoters of the company or analysts tracking a particular uh, uh company wants this it is one of the most important parameters to get high valuation you you pick up any any good company or not good company any company which is predicting at a very high valuation today uh, in indian markets right be it zomato uh, be it nike uh be it you know old businesses also which have been listed uh let's say like uh devis lab right uh they they get such high valuations because people believe that they can keep on growing you can take dmart they can keep on growing at 15 20% uh 
फॉर वेरी लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम मतलब इंडस्ट्री इतना बड़ा है कि यहाँ से अगर एक कंपनी 15-20 परसेंट पे भी ग्रो कर गई आने वाले 10-15 इयर्स तो भी कोई इश्यू नहीं होगा दैट्स द मेन थिंग यू नो व्हाई दिस टॉपिक बिकम्स सो सो इंपॉर्टेंट सो लेट्स गो एंड अंडरस्टैंड बट बिफोर वी गो एंड टॉक अबाउट व्हाई पीपल अडमायर लार्ज अपॉर्चुनिटी साइज द लॉजिक्स बिहाइंड दैट we should always like you know uh, this technique has been taught by lot of great practitioners and this was actually uh, quoted by a mathematicians that chalni munger actually made popularize is invert always invert always change your question you know always ask the opposite question so if high opportunity size gets high valuation in the market and people admire it right it's a tech does that mean that low opportunity size is bad because we have also heard the opposite of this that is companies that focus on a particular niche niche basically means what small market but you are an expert of that market even those companies are highly desired by market participants and even such companies get very high valuation so you know we we will present you know i i don't know whether you have heard about such companies or not but let's pick few companies like avinati organics from specialty chemical space they have niche into two molecules that is atbs and ibb they they have a simple policy of you know entering a small market and capturing 50 to 60 percent market share of that market you know making them kind of a monopoly or a oligopoly player in that industry now the market is so small जैसे 2000-5000 करोड़ का तो खाली इंडस्ट्री साइज है नो न्यू कॉम्पिटेटर वांट्स टू एंटर इट बिकॉज इवन इफ दे कम एंड दे फाइट विन ऑर्गेनिक्स व्हाट टॉप लाइन वुड दे बी एबल टू जनरेट सो इट इट यू नो इट दिस अट्रैक्ट्स अ लॉट ऑफ न्यू कंपटीशन एंड इट हेल्प्स द एग्जिस्टिंग प्लेयर द इनकमेंट टू यू नो मेंटेन देयर मार्जिन एंड रिटर्न ऑन कैपिटल आर और आर ओ अ ग्रेट थिंग सिमिलरली इफ यू लुक एट यू नो when symphony coolers you know came out of bankruptcy and focused on a niche market called coolers right they didn't go even into acs even though it is it is broadly a a, a cooling basket they just focused on you know uh coolers and and market rewarded them exceptionally because management focused on one product and scaled it up big similarly astral polytechnic started with cpvc pipes aishan motors i will present a fantastic excerpt i think it was published by jain uh mr mystery of bujon capital uh, in one of his articles that he wrote for uh, economic times that when aishan motor decided to focus on you know two wheeler bike segment they also had an opportunity to go in the mass market where you know bajaj and hero were operating which was a large opportunity size the 100 to 125 cc bike market but rather aishan motors decided to focus on a small pond that was 300 cc bike market the 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 interpretation simply mean you know agar 100 bikes bikta hai 100 225 cc wala khali shayad 10 bike bikta hai india mein 300 cc wala large pond and small pond so out of this 10 bikes you know imagine you know total jo 300 cc ke bikte hain aishan motor was able to capture let's say 40% of the market so they they sold four bikes but if you see in the overall two wheeler industry that would be four divided by 110 hardly a 2 3% market share in overall industry so fact being despite a volume market share of just 4% of the overall industry aishur's profit share of the entire two wheeler industry was 20% and if i add the market cap of all the two wheeler companies let's imagine if bajaj auto is worth 2 lakh crore if hero motor corp is worth 1 lakh crore if we add the market cap of all the two wheeler company right that will also include aishan motor ka market cap Aishan Motor itself, one single company with just four percent of market share, actually was responsible for thirty percent of market cap of entire industry. मतलब industry को खाली चार percent revenue contribute करके 
इंडस्ट्री का थर्टी परसेंट वैल्यूएशन तुम्हारी वजह से लग रहा है पावर ऑफ नीश स्मॉल मार्केट सो इट्स नॉट ऑलवेज द केस दैट ओनली लार्ज अपॉर्चुनिटी साइज मैटर्स इवन इफ अ कंपनी कैन पिक अप नीश मार्केट एंड बी अ मार्केट लीडर इन दो सेगमेंट विथ कंसिस्टेंट प्रोडक्ट इनोवेशन दे कैन स्टिल बी highly valued by market participants why you know i always prefer to start with exceptions is that that you should understand a universal truth in market that nothing is true always there are exceptions for every theory there are exceptions for every rule till the time you are not aware of information of both sides of the coin you will you will have you know man with a hammer syndrome you will only end up with one view and rejecting the another view and in that process you might lose capital or you might you know uh, lose out a very good opportunity to actually make money and this is a problem specifically with freshers with you know young people who are entering the capital market for the first time because as it is they read very less and whatever they read they believe that just this is true because they have not read you know in abundance so they are not aware of all the possibilities that may happen around the business so that's my logic of always you know putting a uh, exception first now i'm going straight and talking about the logic right now let's understand the logic once you know why why it happens that huge opportunity size is valued by market with such high respect right and that leads directly to high valuations a lot of time so the first logic is the simple math see just imagine even if you are a normal guy working on normal salary right and you aspire to start your own business you want to never hear that your limit is only this much so you know whenever i you know a lot of our students they come they have aspirations to become entrepreneurs some day uh, down the future just imagine to such a hard working guy i i tell him that the industry in which you want to create this product the maximum potential is 5 crore na the 5 crore se upar ka mala beche nahi sakte ye product bana ke the guy would not like that chahe asli mein wo lifetime mein 1 crore ka bhi top line maintain na kar paye but usko ye sunna nahi pasand ki main khali maximum 5 crore kama sakta hu whereas when he, when he hears this particular statement that the industry that you are trying to operate in has a huge opportunity size of 50000 crore his eyes spark up he believes that he can capture that this is the first simple logic you know because everyone is thinking about expected revenue and what is expected revenue it's nothing but your industry size that is the opportunity size right ki industry kitne hazar crore ka ho sakta hai multiply by the market share you can capture so if i tell you that industry size is only 100 crore even by having a 20% market share that is called huge a lot of times you will only end up having a maximum estimated revenue of 20 crore whereas if the industry size is 10000 crore with even a 10% market share you might have a 1000 crore of estimated top line yearly obviously this sounds more attractive and opens up a lot of possibilities for an entrepreneur simple math is the first logic that huge opportunity size is preferred okay now the second thing is this cliche everyone knows that capturing market share is the most toughest thing to do because you will actually have to sell more to capture market share just imagine you have received a pitch deck uh and you are a venture capital uh fund manager uh and the entrepreneur writes this thing that industry is worth uh 5 lakh crore let's imagine it's sort of a retail industry even if i captured just 1% of this market just 1% of this market which seems you know very easily possible because it's just 1% i will end up having a top line of 5000 crore let's say five years down the line and today i have an idea on paper which can help me do that whereas you receive a pitch that the industry size is 5000 crore and 5 years down the line i will be able to capture 50% of this market leading to a top line of 2500 crore 
it's human psychological bias that we believe this thing is more easily possible as compared to this thing although there are a lot of smart venture capitalists in the market they understand that this is a cliche as a 1% likhe se wo ho nahi jata because absolute amount also matters but a lot of people get mesmerized by this thing to ke 1% market share capture karna kaun si badi baat hai hence the point being entrepreneurs and capital market investors love this particular cliche third logic okay that i i gave a gist about but let's you know talk about uh, the math here okay and the third logic is high potential top line will make market go nuts it will lead to high valuation and it will lead to easy equity dilution now first understand uh the word equity dilution let's imagine your company has valuation of 10000 crore right now okay and at 10000 crore you end up and let's imagine your company has outstanding shares of 100 crore so this is market cap and this is your outstanding shares you divide crore crore 100 100 that means your company's core share market price today is 100 rupees versus a scenario where your company's market cap is 5000 crore again you have 100 crore outstanding share all right so that will lead broadly to a market price of 50 rupees now you want to raise capital for growth obviously sometimes companies need capital for growth and you decide that i will come up and distribute 10 crore shares more in market that means i want to dilute 10% of equity it basically it would be 9 point something but let's take a round figure i want to issue 10 more crore share that means i want to issue 10% more outstanding share if you have got this high valuation right what is the amount of capital you will be able to raise 10 crore into 100 that will be broadly 1000 crore by issuing 10% more shares, you will be able to raise 1000 crore. What will happen here? If you want to raise same, same thing, you know, uh, sorry, 1000 crore, you will be able, you will have to sell more 20 crore shares. That is 20% equity dilution will lead to 1000 crore of capital. Now imagine you are a promoter. आप अपनी कंपनी का 10% परसेंट बेच के हजार करोड़ उठाना चाहते हैं या 20% परसेंट बेच के हजार करोड़ ऑब्वियसली 10% परसेंट आप जितना कम अपना इक्विटी डाइल्यूट करेंगे उतना आपके लिए बेटर है सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज हाई वैल्यूएशन लीड्स टू इजी इक्विटी डिल्यूशन और लो इक्विटी डिल्यूशन सो पीपल लव थिंग्स दैट कैन लीड टू हाई वैल्यूएशन ओके सो लेट्स इमेजिन द प्रोसेस ऑफ हाई अपॉर्चुनिटी साइज let's imagine you are tracking a company and it comes up with an announcement that we are entering a new segment and the size of that segment is 5000 crore how does the entire math functions okay and management says that uh, if we are able to execute well okay this is industry size if we are able to execute well in 5 years from today 0 to 5 years we will be able to capture 20% of the market share Correct, 15 to 20% of the market share. That means 5,000 crore into 15 or 20%, that will lead to a additional revenue, right? Additional revenue of 75, 750 to 1,000 crore to the company, right? Everyone is clear with this? Okay. Now, due to this, what valuations your company can get assigned? For that, first, you will have to talk about margins. Imagine the new segment in which your company is entering generally to your company having a pack due to this additional revenue in the range of 75 to 100 crores 75 to 750 to 1000 crore ka 10% that will be 75 to 100 crore ka additional profit aake add hoga due to this additional revenue now you need to understand ke ye additional profit ke wajah se company ko kya valuations mil sakta hai incremental now for that you need understanding of peer valuations exit multiples right but that is topic for valuation series 
here i'm just picking up let's imagine when you analyze other companies which are listed only in this segment they generally over a very long period of time the median pe ratios of those companies is around 20 so it becomes a reasonable base ke apni company ko bhi is segment mein 20 ka pe mil jayega so if 1 rupee of profit is traded at 20 rupees that is called 20 ka pe basically at 75 crore or 100 crore of additional profit you will get what approximately broadly uh, 1500 crore to 2000 crore of market cap 75 into 20 and 100 into 20 just imagine if your company's current market cap is let's say 2000 crore current market cap you are talking about market cap basically almost doubling due to this new segment that is how the entire max functions let me do just one thing let me change the corporate announcement of the company now the corporate or corporate announcement of the company is the segment that we are entering into has a potential of 10000 crore and the remaining math remains the same so 15 20% market share can lead to a potential top line of 1500 to 2000 crore a 10% profit margin can lead to a incremental profit of 150 crore to 200 crore and at 20 ka pe that can lead to a incremental market cap of 3000 crore to 4000 crore what would you like your company to have a additional market cap of 2000 crore or 3000 to 4000 crore obviously 3000 to 4000 crore that is how you make great returns so specifically when it's a raging bull market a lot of companies come up with tom dick and harry announcements which practically portrays them in the light that they are entering into much bigger segments because they know market will do this calculation ke company ka incremental market cap kitna badh sakta hai and in trust me you would be like abhi to announcement aaya hai fir company ke iske around products banenge plant banega production hoga customers ko bikega dheere dheere acceptance aayega marketing spend hoga it is a 5 7 year game इन रेजिंग बुल मार्केट मार्केट पंद्रह मिनट में कैलकुलेशन करके आज अनाउंसमेंट आया कंपनी का उसको लगता है इंक्रीमेंटल मार्केट कैप साढ़े तीन चार हजार करोड़ आएगा मार्केट दो दिन के अंदर ही कंपनी का वैल्यूएशन को चार हजार करोड़ से बढ़ा देगा अनाउंसमेंट इज सीन एज अ श्योरिटी कैसा तो हो ही जाएगा सो दे डू सच काइंड ऑफ अनाउंसमेंट द वैल्यूएशन गो अप and then you know what happens equity dilution they raise more money at high valuations so this is a cycle that gets played a lot of time in capital markets so that's why people love you know high opportunity size a, a very important uh, angle last thing for for session then we'll take the remaining points in second session is the reinvestment headache so see uh, i would request everyone to go to our forum right on the website financialsharkclasses.com forum tab go to valuation series or I, i will show you that if just wait for one minute okay so just watch my screen i will show you where to go so this is our our forum page basically so you should go here because the coming thing that i'm talking about is a very important go to valuation series in valuation series i have explained a lot of topics that actually lead to a company getting high valuation in the market and one of the point is regarding the valuation framework the growth impact valuation post number 8 please go and read that because the coming thing that we would be discussing right now is related to this particular angle of valuations now let me go back yeah we are back to the point to size article so this is under business analysis tab this particular post so going back here one second yeah the reinvestment headache so what actually is a mindset of a lot of market participants is that you don't need a good business you know 
even a vada pav ka business is great guys right you make 100 rupees in revenue you have just you know 30 rupees let's say 50 rupees in costing you have a profit of 50 rupees that's a 50% margin 50 divided by 100 and that will also lead to a great return on equity or great return on capital employed but why you don't have an aspiration to open up a samosa ka or vada pav ka lari because the point is आप वो बिजनेस के अंदर री इन्वेस्ट नहीं कर सकते आप उस बिजनेस से कमाए हुआ पैसा वापस से उस बिजनेस के अंदर ही नहीं लगा सकते बिकॉज दे इज अमिट टू ग्रो आप कितनी लारियां मैनेज कर लेंगे दो तीन चार पांच आप एक लारी से कितना कमा लेंगे बीस लाख तीस लाख यू सी अ पोटेंशियल कैप के इससे ज्यादा तो यार कमा पाना पॉसिबल नहीं है सो यू अर्न थ्रू दैट बिजनेस बट यू इन्वेस्ट समवेर एल्स देन राइट बिकॉज आपको लगता है कि यार यहाँ पे ग्रो नहीं हो पाएगा सेम इज द लॉजिक इन लिस्टेड एंड अनलिस्टेड स्पेस जस्ट इफ योर कंपनी हैज हाई प्रॉफिट मार्जिन और हाई रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी दैट जस्ट डज अट्रैक्ट मार्केट मार्केट नीड्स ग्रोथ इन टॉप लाइन एंड इन प्रॉफिट अलॉन्ग विथ हाई प्रॉफिट मार्जिन एंड हाई आर इफ ग्रोथ इज मिसिंग इट इट बिकम्स अ सॉर्ट ऑफ डेड इन्वेस्टमेंट अ वैल्यू ट्रैप कंपनी बहुत कैश कमा रही होंगी कंपनी का आपको बेसिक चेकलिस्ट देखोगे वॉरेन बफेट वाला हाई आरओई प्राइसिंग पावर हाई प्रॉफिट मार्जिन हाई मोट सब टिक हो रहा होगा बट आपको दिखेगा पांच छह सात साल हो गए स्टॉक इज नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग इट इज टैंगनेट विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट फ्यू केस स्टडीज इन सेशन टू ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक बट यू नो दैट इज वॉट हैपन सो वेन अ कंपनी हैज अज अपॉर्चुनिटी साइज This saturation, this saturation point doesn't come. कि कंपनी के पास ग्रोथ नहीं बचा. कंपनी प्रॉफिट कमाती है. वो प्रॉफिट का रेली कुछ परसेंट डिविडेंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करती है. बाकी का पूरा प्रॉफिट बिजनेस के अंदर रीइन्वेस्ट हो जाता है. Because in order to grow, guys, you will have to reinvest, right? Because if you don't reinvest, how you will grow? Not every business is sort of a IT business, right? Or a service business. जहां पे आपको बहुत कम कैपिटल वापस से बिजनेस में डालना पड़ता है एंड स्टिल यू कैन ग्रो मेजोरिटी ऑफ द बिजनेस इज रिक्वायर री इन्वेस्टमेंट टू ग्रो आज आपके पास अगर 100 करोड़ का एसेट है ऑन बैलेंस शीट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द फिक्स्ड एसेट एंड योर कंपनी हैज एसेट टर्न ओवर ऑफ लेट्स से 1.5 एट मैक्स यू कैन हैव अ टॉप लाइन ऑफ 150 करोड़ नाउ इफ यू वांट टू ग्रो मोर यू विल हैव टू बिल्ड मोर फिक्स्ड एसेट यू विल हैव टू पुट इन मोर 100 करोड़ इनटू अ न्यू प्लांट that will lead to a total fixed asset of 200 crore at 1.5 times turnover a revenue of 300 crore so for growth in top line you need growth in assets or working capital some businesses are usually working capital dependent jahan pe manufacturing mein itna paisa nahi lagta but data inventory mein bahut paisa stuck hota hai so to grow more you will have to maintain more inventory or you know give more money to get more money stuck in data a lot of businesses have this particular characteristic so market doesn't want a low reinvestment so even if you see some great companies you know a uh, a uh, one of the companies two of the companies that i am aware of that because you know we have tracked that at our academy that those are divis lab and pi industries uh both of the companies are valued very highly in the in the market they always trade at you know 40 45 kind of pe always you know e- even in bad of the bad markets if you compare with nifty pe they will always seem very expensive but if you look at their growth rates and their reinvestment it it has been phenomenal uh they they are not generating free cash flows now this goes against textbook that a good business should should generate high free cash flow that is not always true actually a good business should generate very less less free cash flow if the condition being if your company's return on equity is high especially higher than your cost of capital and there is growth available in business so if your opportunity cost of capital let's say is 12% and your business is providing 25% and you and you see that you can easily grow at 20% why would you not grow let me ask a counterpoint why would you not like to invest more money because every penny you invest more here like you will get 1.25 rupees of revenue 
sorry, 1.2 rupees of revenue. And on every one rupee of incremental equity, you would be generating 25 pesos of return. That, that, that's phenomenal. It doesn't make sense to not grow, right? And if you want to exactly understand this concept of when ROE is greater than cost of capital, and if company invests more for growth, it is valued very highly by market. Please go and visit our sessions of valuation. They are available on YouTube. And if you want to read the blogs, again, visit our forum and read about valuation series here. Okay. All right. So that's one of the most important topic. And one more angle that is very important is why market participants want your company's reinvestment rate to be high. Profit ka paisa bach hai aur wo se fata -fata assets ko mein lag ja hai. Why people want this, right? Is because specifically in Indian capital markets, cash misallocation has been a very important thing that has gone wrong again and again. A lot of managements have generated good cash flows, but they have not used that cash flows in a proper manner to grow the business. They have taken those cash and you know, distributed that, those as loans to related parties, or they have just accumulated that cash on balance sheet and they have put that cash into mutual funds. So it's a very big headache for a lot of market participants is that if a company cash pe cash allocate karte jayegi na balance sheet mein, the risk of this particular management misallocating cash that is against you know minority shareholder keeps on increasing and the problem with risk is the perception of something can go wrong actually leads to a lower valuation chai wo galat ho bhi na shayad actually mein management cash ko balance sheet mein jama hone de for a very long period of time but market dar jayega ki yaar company ke balance sheet ka 10% 15% 20% 25% cash. Imagine a balance sheet with total assets of 100 crore and out of that 20 crore or 25 crore into mutual fund investments. People would get tensed. Because being shareholders of this company, you would want either invest that money for growth or return that money as dividend. You are not a bank saving accounts. You are not a bank saving accounts. But in India, this has been a perpetual issue, right? So some of the issues that I have mentioned here, you can read that. That sometimes then, you know, management get desperate because they also get pressure in AGMs and in con calls from analysts and fund manager. So they go ahead and buy another companies. They, they go for mergers and acquisition. Okay, you know, they can buy any company and immediately the revenue gets added and you see a top line and profit growth a lot of times. So shareholders actually fear this also. Okay, just to bring growth, an optical illusion of growth, promoter group ko hi, ya ko related party ko, loans ki ke se distribute na kar de, at very low interest rate. So, you know, such topics actually put minority shareholders and capital market, you know, people uh, into a lot of stress. So it's better that company may grow to business can they reinvest. Karte rahe. So this tension of a uh, corporate governance or cash misallocation just goes away. So this, you know, till now, if you see, we have discussed four important logics due to which capital market professionals desire company to have a high opportunity size. We will talk about the remaining angle, one or two angle and few case studies in session number two of this topic called opportunity size. Thank you so much. And as usual, please do follow our YouTube handle so that you get regular update. We post you know, good, you know, extensive videos on financial analysis, valuation series, and business analysis. You can also go and read our forum on our website, financialshareclasses.com. We have explained everything on a lot of relevant topics on our forum. And apart from content on these three broad topics, we regularly post 
all the latest current awareness updates on our website. We also post a lot of great blogs that we read. We also post a lot of summaries of investor memo and research papers on our forum. You can make it as a part of your regular reading habit. Uh, it will actually increase your domain knowledge about various businesses uh, a lot over a period of time. And if you are uh, in mood of short, funny, yet very powerful, applicable content, go and visit our handle on Instagram. Uh, we also write a lot of good threads on Twitter. On Instagram, we go by the handle Finacle underscore Shah. And on Twitter, we go by the handle Finacle Academy. Thank you so much. See you back in next session.